Hello out there, everybody. Today we're just going to dive in a little bit to our four out one in offense. I'm here to give you five tips that will keep your four out one in offense running smoothly. These are five very important tips that will help every team who's running this offense be able to create more space and get more easy shots. So let's dive right into our first tip. Tip number one, this is a very hard tip for some players to understand, is that we need to limit our dribbling. Okay, the worst thing that we can do is take a few dribbles, pick up our dribble, and then get stopped or possibly even trapped. In basketball, when you're on offense, when you have the ball, you have three options. You can pass, you can shoot, you can dribble. As soon as you pick up your dribble, you are now limited to two options, passing or shooting. And the defense obviously knows that, and they can start to trap if you pick up your dribble. All right? On my team, we are only allowed to dribble if we are driving or if we are performing a dribble at one of our teammates. So dribbling is only done with a purpose. If you are not doing one of those two things, we do not dribble in the half court. Tip number two, never pass and stand still. All right, we have a lot of things that we can do in this offense. One of them is not stand still. Why? Because if we move, the defense moves. And the more the defense moves, the more there's a chance that someone could get lost along the way and someone can get open on our team. So what can we do after we pass the ball? We can cut with our pass cut fill. And when we cut, we always cut with the purpose towards the basket, looking for the return pass. We can set an away screen, or we can always set a ball screen as well. And in that order is the preference that I have for my team. Cut first, or we can set an away screen. And if those two options aren't really available for us or if they're not working for us, then we can set a ball screen. Tip number three, always catch passes ready. Okay, ready to what? Well, we catch the ball in our triple threat position, which means the ball is placed at our hip, held away from a defender. So we're ready to drive, ready to shoot, or ready to pass again. Okay, so when we come off the screen, we're coming off that screen, ready to catch and shoot. Or if the defender chases us, we're ready to catch and drive. Anytime the ball is passed to us, we are ready to shoot if we're open or drive if our defender close out a little bit late. Tip number four, always look inside if possible. Um, inside doesn't have to be our five, doesn't have to be our big though, it could be one of the cutters. So if you receive a pass and someone's cutting, well, whether that be the person who passed you the ball or a backdoor cut, always look for those. If those cuts aren't available, yes, we are going to look one-on-one -on -one down low in the post as well. All right, with this offense, we should be able to create some opportunities in the post. Even if we can get the ball down there and then they crash down to double-team that, that should create some in-to-out ball movements for open shots around the perimeter. And our last tip, which is actually probably the most important tip here, is to maintain our spacing. We never want one defender being able to guard two players or two passes at a time all right on the court we should have a minimum of 14 feet between perimeter players at all times obviously we're not going to pull out a ruler on the court but it's about a little bit bigger than two body lengths between each of our perimeter players at all times obviously if we're cutting it's a little different um, as, as we cut through we might be a little closer to someone um, but for the most part when you're on the perimeter you want there to be a minimum of 14 feet between us. Okay, I hope these five tips help you with this offense a little bit better. Uh, for more videos on this 4 out one offense or a couple other items in basketball, please check out the other videos I have posted. If you like this video, as always, please share and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, post those in the comments and I will reply to you when I can. Thanks again, everyone.